10 most dangerous cities in Africa. Africa has seen the rise of its economy, education, political, religious and cultural sectors over the years. But in the midst of all these great achievements, Africa still has cities that are considered the most dangerous cities in Africa. Let's begin with... Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Ultimate Survivor Africa. This is the channel that comes from Africa. We talk about things that happen in Africa. We talk about nature and conservation. We talk about tourism and tourist destinations. We talk about uh, current affairs of Africa. We talk about the celebrities and everything that takes place in Africa. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon so that you don't miss our future videos. And please, when you watch our videos, give us the thumbs up that will support our channel to grow. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. Number one, Rustenburg of South Africa. A city in the northwest province of South Africa known as Rustenburg has very high crime levels and is rated at 85.7 wine out of the possible crime score of 100 according to 2015 Nambio. Statistics gathered in South Africa of all cities in the northwest province, Rustenburg had the highest total cases of criminal recorded activities such as household burglary, kidnapping, hijacking and politics with the 11,117 cases in 2015, according to the Crime Statistics of South Africa. Violence are but some of the crimes that frequently occur in the city. According to South Africa Dialogue, street crimes and muggings are also high in Rosenberg, and caution is necessary each and every day. While driving on the freeways at night, stops in undesignated areas make one a vulnerable target of robbers, and hence it is wise to avoid making them, especially at odd hours. Number 2. Peter Marisbeck in South Africa Second on our list is Peter Marisbeck, which is the province's second largest city after Durban. It is said to have very high crime levels with a crime rating at 87.5 out of possible crime rate score of 100 according to Nombio as of January 2016. In Peter Marisbeck, the common criminal activities include armed robbery, sexual assault, arson, drug dealing, house breakings, car jackings, car theft. According to Crime Statistics South Africa in 2015, there were 15,720 criminal incidences in the city. This was an increase in the previous years as in 2014 there were 14,794 reported incidents of criminal activities and in 2013 there were 13,596. Number 3. Benghazi in Libya Since Muhammad Gaddafi's removal from power as the leader of Libya in 2011, the whole country has seen a rise in crime rate in respect of the city known as Benghazi. This city is always at risk of radical Islamic terrorist attacks. According to World Atlas, in September of 2012, the US Embassy in Libya was attacked by violent extremists and four US government employees, the US ambassador to Libya included, died in chaos. And also, according to the OSAC, crime levels across the whole country are still rising. Criminal activities such as carjackings, robberies, burglaries and gun attacks are now more prevalent in the area. Also sexual harassment of women is also rising as well as tiny and hardcore street crime alike. Number 4. Johannesburg of South Africa In fourth place of our list is Johannesburg in South Africa with which has an estimated population of over 4 million people and it's also the capital of Gauteng province. In recent years, it has achieved a notoriety for the high numbers of crime and rape cases seen there as well. Numbers are ranking the crime levels in Johannesburg as rising very high, achieving a 91.61 out of a possible crime score of 100 as of March 2016. Due to the many incidences of rape reported there, it has also been dubbed with the world's rape capital. Johannesburg in recent times had a xenophobic attacks springing up in the low-income townships with the frequency. In 2014 to 2015, according to Africa's Chuck, the murder rate of Johannesburg per 100,000 was 28.2 people. Yet, according to the report by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the average global homicide rate per 100,000 people was 6.2, less than a fourth of that seen in Johannesburg. Number 5. Durban of South Africa 
Durban in South Africa is the fifth city on the list of 10 dangerous cities in Africa. It is the largest city in KwaZulu-Natal province in South Africa and a coastal city that is popular with local and international tourists who annually number within the hundreds of thousands. Also economically, this city was the biggest container and commodity port in sub-Saharan Africa, according to OSAC. Apart from all this, crime and criminal-related deaths have been on rise. In a 2014 report by Mexican Citizens Council for Public Security and Criminal Justice, Durban City was 38th among 50 most violent cities in the world. Homicides per 100,000 people stood at 34.5 in 2014 and up from 2013 when they were 32 per 100,000. As of March 2016, KwaZulu Natal province in 2015 was reported as the most dangerous province in South Africa. Taking personal precautions like avoiding nighttime travel or walking alone is recommended to avoid falling victim. Number 6. Lagos in Nigeria With the population estimated at 21 million, Lagos in Nigeria, one of the largest cities in the world, is the sixth most dangerous city in Africa. With an estimated uh, rating of 80.88 out of the possible crime score of 100, crime levels are also very high. OSAC gives Lagos a crime rating of critical. Locals and expatriates living in Lagos are vulnerable to muggings, armed robberies, home or business burglaries, carjackings, assaults, rapes, kidnappings and extortion. Armed robbers in the city are known to even climb up perimeter fences and subdue guards and others have invaded waterfront compounds by way of boats. Vehicles are targeted by criminal criminals and also criminals use attack occupants in traffic and break into stationary cars. Some of Lagos' crime fatal spots are airport roads in the day or evenings, as well as banks and grocery stores. Street gangs duped area boys cause terror in mainland of the city when they clash. Also, Lagos is a medium for scam hotbed. From where dubious cyber criminal prey on people under the pretension that they can receive huge compensation in return some time later after parting with some money by way of electronic transaction. Number 7. Cape Town of South Africa Crime levels in Cape Town, a port city in South Africa and the capital of the Western Cape are very high even though it is the country's legislative capital. In recent years, it has consistently been ranked among the most violent cities in the world. The city is given the crime rating of 82.45 out of the possible crime score of 100 as of March 2016, which is an increase from the previous three years. From April 2011 to March 2012, Cape Town recorded more murders than Johannesburg and Pretoria combined, according to Africa Check. Criminal activities like drug dealing, mugging, vandalism, theft, assault, armed robbery, and bribery are especially common there, according to Nambio. Taking a nighttime walk in Cape Town is very risky. Much of the violence in Cape Town is fueled by the drug-related activity and the economic inequality which is still prevalent in non-white territories. According to 2014 report by the Institute of Security Studies, annual income in a white household was just over six times more than a black household in Cape Town. Number 8. Port Elizabeth in South Africa Another city in South Africa that appears in the 8th place of the list of the most dangerous cities in Africa, Port Elizabeth, which is a coastal city in South Africa. One most common thing about this city is that tourists are drawn to this vibrant port city, which is dubbed the Wind City for its windy coastal climate. The city has a rich cultural heritage and is one of the cities where the historical explorers like Vasco da Gama passed through. Well, in this area, crime is very high, and Nambio, as of February 2016, highlighted the crime levels there at 80.56 out of the possible score of 100. Muggings and street crimes are common in Port Elizabeth, much like in the rest of the South Africa. 
Port Elizabeth was ranked number 35 by the Mexican Citizens Council for Public Security and Criminal Justice among the world's 50 most dangerous cities, and in 2013, it was number 41. Murders per 100,000 people in 2014 were 34.8, slightly down from 36 in 2013. Number 9. Luanda in Angola In the ninth place of our list of top 10 most dangerous cities in Africa is Luanda, Angola's capital. It has a high crime rate, one which according to Osaka is considered as being critical. In February 2016, out of a possible crime total score of 100, Nombio rates it at 76.39. Furthermore, according to the UK government services, common crimes in the city are inclusive of car hijackings, assaults, homicides, muggings for valuables such as mobile phones, armed robberies at either night or day, especially in areas that are popular with foreigners, and rape incidences both in nightlife areas and even private homes. In Luanda, there are areas that according to Osaka are fatal grounds for crime and it particularly warns against venturing into and they include places like Rao Nero, the Rao Huari, Boa Medien, and the traffic circle in the last part of Rua Gamel Abdel Nassar. Number 10. Nairobi, Kenya As Kenya's capital city, Nairobi is the hub of the country's economy, thereby making it attractive to both the foreign investors and criminal activities. According to the World Atlas, the U.S. Overseas Security Advisor Council, OSAC, rates Nairobi crime levels as being critical. Furthermore, Nombio.com, as of March 2016, rated the crime levels of the city as high and ended up giving it a rating of 78.49 out of 100. More grievous crimes common in Nairobi, according to OSAC, are armed car hijackings, home and business burglaries, kidnappings, pickpocketing, muggings, and snatch and grab thefts. All the same, according to OSAC, the victims of robberies who cooperate without us resisting are more likely to be unharmed in the city. I hope you enjoyed this content guys, please if you did, give us the thumbs up that will support our channel and also if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activate the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. And please if you have any other countries that you think you have left out, please give them in the comment box and let us know where you're watching from and how your city is safe. This is the Ultimate Survivor signing out. See you in the next video.